Hello, since the year is finally ending, I thought I would look back at all the stuff that I made during the year. This is the first year that I actually started using Ravelry better for tracking my projects. It's also the year where, you know, was at home all the time, so I had way more time to make bigger, crazier projects. Anyway, here's a look at what I made during the past year, and I'd love to see what you guys have made and also a little bit of a look of what I am looking forward to do next year. So the first make of the year, it was a project that I actually started on 2019, finishing it at the beginning of the year, and that was a practical pullover. It's a 1940s pattern that I found for free that was actually a pattern that was given during the war to women in the UK to knit to men. I made it for my husband. But I don't count that one as 2020 because yeah, I was finishing it and it was just like the last things and I finished it in January so we're not gonna count that one but it's there. According to my Ravelry, the first thing I actually made from beginning to end this year was actually the wall hanging that's behind me which is a pattern by The Bros, who is a great designer, I love her stuff but I really needed something to fill the wall and then after that I actually started working on a crochet project. I wanted to make this for so long and I finally went and did it and it was a big project. So this is called the Midnight Diamond Blanket by Catherine Nora Norona. Sorry for killing your name. I actually have it right here. It's made out of crochet squares and it kind of has this effect when you finish, when you put all the squares together, they're pretty by themselves, but together it kind of looks like, I don't know, like marble, like a tile uh, or pattern or, or kind of like a little bit tricking your eye. Not as big as I hoped it would be, it's more like a, it's like a lap blanket. Yeah, I think this was a really fun one. Since the moment I saw the picture for this, I was like, I need this. I'm glad that I did it. It was really fun. So next I did an Astoria top, that's a summer top. And this is actually designed by me. I designed it last year and ever since I released it, it has done very well, a lot of people have made it. I did like a little uh, knit along uh, back in May, I think it was. It was like when things really got rough, so that was fun to, to knit with other people. I actually made a video for it, so if you guys want to check it out, you can see how I made the story top. Next up, continuing with the theme of I cannot stop making things for my own home, I made a table runner called the Marcy Table Runner. It was designed by my friend Kaylee from K Needles in Life. This was another case of I started it and it's like the same pattern and then you just make it as long as you want it to be and I just couldn't stop so I made it kind of really long. My mom wants one so I guess I'm gonna make it again. Then after that I, I finished a project that I actually started I think at the beginning of the year and I worked on it for months because I would put it down and start over and this is a gift that I haven't been able to gift yet because it's more for my little niece who lives in Mexico. Every year I make her something, it's kind of been a little tradition of ours. This year I decided to make her a mermaid blanket. It wasn't as fun to make just because I had to restart several times because I, I picked a size that was too small. And then I ran out of yarn, so I had to get more yarn. And then the color, I couldn't find the same color, and so I had to kind of like play with the colors and use a similar blue, and it was kind of crazy. I finally finished it, and it looks really nice, and she's seen it, but she doesn't have it yet, so I hope by the time I see her, it's still long enough for her, and that she loves it, which I think she will. Then I started this project that I think it's gonna have its own video because it was it was a whole thing. And it was the color work patchwork cardigan that Harry Styles wore. That one. Yeah. So a friend commissioned it for me and I didn't know what it was. And I was like, sure, that looks doable. And so I did it. <laughs> I used the pattern, the original pattern that JW Anderson released. I've been recording a video about it. It's just like, it was such a monster project and it's such a monster video that I haven't finished it. I'll talk more about that on that in that video. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this sweater, so I really want to tell you more. I'm glad I made that. Uh, that was that was like a challenge um, that I took and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I have nothing else to do, so why not? Also during May, I released one of my own designs, uh, which is my second top that I've ever done, and this is the cherry blossom top, inspired just by the cherry blossoms on our street. I really wanted like a best 
type of top with a v-neck yeah it, it, it is a great summer top but it also can be worn as a vest like i said so you could make it with wool and it could be a warm vest that you put on top of your other clothes and then in july i released another pattern which was this pair of shorts through the grapevine shorts that, that was my first short design i just really wanted shorts to go with my tops and because the summer just felt like the longest summer ever but like not in a good way it's a simple short like high-waisted shorts pattern it has a, little, a, a cute little detail on the side you can find it on Ravelry and Etsy then I made this little fingerless gloves this pattern is called fingerless gloves leaves by Valentina Georgieva I made them for my friend and I really really like how they looked yeah i think i need to wear more fingerless gloves because i always make them and somehow i don't have many then after that i worked on my favorite project of the entire year oh i love it i i love it so much this is a botanical yoke pullover uh it's a pattern by pearl soho and the yarn is also it's cashmere merino bloom by pearl soho as well it's the softest nicest yarn i love this sweater so much i finished it just in time to wear it up in maine when we were there in the fall and it was like the perfect sweater to be wearing in the cold weather it's really it really is my warmest sweater at this point I just love it so much thank you me for choosing this and after that i worked on a test knit that i don't i don't tend to do that i decided to sign up for this sock pattern these are called the road trip socks by maven crafted i made one and then when i started the second one my needles broke so um i haven't been able to finish the second sock until i get more needles but i'll call this one 2020 because i did finish one it's the second sock syndrome and then the final the final pattern that i released this year was the Manhattan Magic Mittens knit versions. So about two years ago, I released the crochet pattern with Manhattan Ma Magic Mittens, which is um, basically the mittens that I always wanted because they are fingerless mittens, but they, but they have individual fingerless and they also have a top that you can put on and off. So you can use your phone, but you can still warm up your, the tips of your fingers. Because it's such a popular, popular pattern, I decided to make the same idea, the same type of mittens fingerless mittens but for knitting it was actually very challenging to try i was like oh yeah i already made it so i just have to translate it into knitting but it, no basically had to redesign the whole thing from scratch that was my review for my makes of the year and you know at the beginning of the year i made one of those hashtag may 9 resolutions of nine things i wanted to make during the year and i ended up making two <laughs> from that list i did end up making more than nine i just didn't follow my own list for whatever reason so of course i'm gonna try again to choose nine things some of them i know i'm gonna do because i already have the yarn so fingers crossed the first one is my first color work sweater that i ever make it's called hinterland by jennifer steingas and i got this really beautiful custom yarn that by my friend katie at unicorn yarn co i am so looking forward to kick that and start working on it I also want to make a coffee bean cow by my friend Kaylee again. She makes great patterns. This might be the first thing I, I make, so like start with something a little lighter and not too intense on 2021. And after that, I have another made and crafted uh, socks that I want to make. The Toriel socks. I, I want to make more socks this year. I feel like uh, I don't make socks quite as much as I should. And after that, I think I'm gonna work on a wrap. I really like the romance wrap by Alexandra Table, aka Two of Ones. You know, always jumping back from garments to socks to home. A home pattern that I wanna make is the Linzer Throw Pillow by Katy Maria. Uh, just cause, you know, I need, I need more pillows. Who doesn't need more pillows? Then there, there is this hat that I want to make. It's more like a beret because I had a beautiful blue beret that I lost. I think it was a restaurant. Train. Train. I want to replace it. It's called the Ivy Dean Hat by Wooly Wormhead. What a great name, Wooly Wormhead. Then after that, I, uh, I've been watching and reading 
a lot of Outlander. So I do want to make something that's kind of inspired by Outlander. It's called Through the Stones Gauntlets. So they're like these long fingerless globes by Scottish Princess. They, they look fun. I really want to make those. Uh, I don't have the yarn for them yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. Anyway, the last thing that I want to make this year is the Minerva Cardigan by Favel Knitwear so pretty and i really need to make more cardigans i don't nearly make enough and i have uh, way more in my queue but i don't even know that i'm gonna get to all these nine so let's keep it light for now what are you guys making in 2021 where is your make nine list i'd love to know i hope you will add some of my patterns from your queue i also have some plans for new patterns coming up hopefully i'll release those soon and i'll keep you updated on those and if there are other things you would like to see so in the video side of 2021 20 20 21 oh my gosh so on the video side of 2021 i think i'm gonna try to make a little more vlogs like this if it's interesting for you guys some sewing projects that i've been trying to start and that i think are gonna be very fun i want to show you more of my own patterns uh the way that i did it with the astoria top i think that might be fun i hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe happy 2021 happy knitting